Like, comment, and subscribe. And I don't actually mean to do that for this video because the video just started. What would you be liking, commenting, and subscribing on for Pete's sake? But what I mean is, this is a term you might see start being used a bit more by your favorite content creators strictly because the algorithm for YouTube in general is kind of changing. See, before, you kind of wanted to make a 10 minute and one second long video so that way it could be long enough to be able to put ads on. On top of that, uh, it, it could vary from gameplay to discussion to animation if animators were still around. But the idea was you had to do both that long of a video and then also do daily videos. So you would do about 70 minutes worth of video a week. Now, you don't actually have to necessarily Necessarily do daily videos anymore because videos are going to be more valued by audience interaction based off of likes and comments specifically but also subscribing just because as well now the reason this is being changed I don't actually have the answer for specifically YouTube has put out some statements about it but this doesn't necessarily hurt people that do daily videos if they want to do daily videos like they did it because they just love making videos I'm gonna mention Markiplier for a second specifically so I can put his name in the title of this video because that's the kind of person I am scumbag but he makes videos, for example, he makes two videos a day at that because he just likes making videos. So he makes 14 videos a week because he just likes making videos. And fortunately for him, as he'll say, he's able to make a career off of it. He's able to do something, you know, because of that, with that. But that's also because he likes doing it. It's not because he has to do it. So if you're someone who's doing YouTube because you like doing it, but found yourself doing that style or that kind of like, algorithm of video, and you really didn't like doing it, you kind of don't have to anymore. Now, granted, there's a little bit of exception. For someone like me, for example, who's still relatively small, Small. Doing daily videos is more of an exposure thing than a algorithm thing. So if you are somewhat small, you probably still might benefit from doing daily videos. It's more so that you just don't have to do it. Because before, if you're doing daily videos and you stopped for even like a day, you might be throwing out the algorithm. You might all of a sudden be put lower down in the like the recommended videos and things like that. Now they're changing that, so that isn't the case anymore. This might also help animators. It might. I don't know exactly. A lot of people say animators died back in 2011 because making 10-minute animations a day for you know a total of 70 minutes a week, and that's not even your main job and source of income, was a little bit difficult. So you couldn't even devote all your time to it. Now, because the video will be worth more based on interaction, again, comments and you know likes, etc., like that they might be able to come back. It actually would be kind of cool to see animators come back in mass. I mean, there are still some animators around, some animators are doing some good things, but just in general, seeing the animation come back would be kind of cool. I think animation is pretty cool. That's what this video just kind of is, though. If you see like, comment, subscribe a bit more, it's because they, they need the engagement, right? It's not necessarily, well, maybe they don't need it, like they're begging you for engagement, but that's what's going to be valued more than even the daily video. So you might see that come in more often because it's, it's, a good thing to remind your audience is just to like, comment, and subscribe as well. Because sometimes a person might be going through a playlist, they'll like watch a bunch of videos, but they'll forget to like, they'll forget to comment, and they'll forget to subscribe. So then you gotta kind of remind them, hey, if you like the video, you know, like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Just for example, we're at the end of this video. So hey, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you so please. That's all for this video. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this gave you a little, a little bit of insight about why that term might be coming around a bit more if it hasn't already from some of your more favorite YouTube creators that weren't doing it before. But I don't know which video will be next because life can be quite a mess. So until next time, take care from the Fire Godai FS.